Hey, 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 everybody. It is Tuesday. It is Traveling Tuesday. My name is Jen Gear, and I am coming to you live if it's red up there in the corner. If not, you're catching the replay, which is totally cool as well. I'm hanging out in my car, and it is Car Chatting with Jen. Today's topic is I have jewelry, will travel. Really, the main topic is about different ways that uh, for those of you in the jewelry business can travel with your accessories. So there is this awesome thing called a bling bag. But if you're like me, I don't want to carry a big purse. I am not a big purse fan. So if you're a big purse fan, hoorah, me not so much. This, this is my purse, right? This is the size of my purse and I love it. It's an over the shoulder purse. It is tiny and I can fit some jewelry in there. But if you guys are in paparazzi accessories, say what's up. So am I, I can't see comments. Drives me bonkers, but that's okay. I'll message you later. So if you're tuning in, say hello. So for me, it's Traveling Tuesday. That's the day I travel around to multiple businesses in my town with my bling bag. Now, normally, like I said, I carry a small purse. It does have jewelry in it, which is a small glad, you know, quart sized bag of different stuff. But when I travel around on Tuesdays, I carry around a bling bag. Now this bad boy is pretty big. Holy buckets, holy buckets, it's a good size, right? Paparazzi gave me this at a convention three, four years ago, I don't know. It's been, for, it's been a while. But I keep it in my car, it's loaded with jewelry. This time I grabbed a box. Holy buckets, this big old box is full of jewelry. So whether you have a bag, whether you don't have a bag, whether you're like me and you just carry a small purse, I keep the big one in my vehicle, okay? Now, inside the box is just gallon bags of jewelry. That's it. That's it, right? Seriously. These are what I just got in out of my box that was delivered to my house by FedEx today. And I just put them in quart bags, right? There's rings, bracelets, kids' earrings. And I had just left my friend's place, so a lot of it is gone, right? They went crazy for it. Now, it's still in the plastic, right? We don't have to put a lot of thought. It is really hot in here. <laughs> it's, it's snowing outside, but it's hot in my car. Um, but you don't have to put a lot of thought into it. The biggest ticket with any business is making sure people know what you do. Whether you are just walking around with your jewelry bag or whether you're doing Facebook Lives, it's people to know what you do. Now, I didn't take this stuff out of the, out of the packaging because you can see what's in there, right? And the people go crazy for it. If they open it up and look at it, fantastic. They can put it back, right? But this is, the girls are like, hey, I wanna see all of the earrings you got. Fantastic, here's our bag of earrings that we got left. What about your necklaces? They grab the necklaces and they dump them out on the table. They go crazy. Less than 20 minutes and I made 80 bucks, okay? And if you bounce around from different businesses, you could go to businesses, you could go to teacher's lounges for lunches, um, you could go to a friend's that has an insurance company. Um, I'm looking around to see what's around here. Anywhere that you know uh, that has a business where you could just come in with your, your bling bag, your bling box, whatever, uh, just give the one, that, the person that you know that works there, give them all your free stuff, like all hostess and stuff. So I tell them, well, whoever invites me into this location, you can pick out all the free stuff and they go crazy for it. So whether it's a box, whether it's a bling bag, <laughs> whatever it is, you can do it. That's the beauty of paparazzi is that it can be, um, it can be so versatile. You know, it can be out of your car. It can be on social media. It can be whatever, but make a day for me. Tuesdays work good for me, uh, from my schedule and everything that's going on that I run around and bounce around to different locations, uh, and just share the jewelry with them. So it's easy cash, but put that day into your calendar that that's the day that you might bounce around to businesses. But I encourage you to always have that bag in your car, that truck, or excuse me, that box in your truck, whatever it is, because you might be in the grocery store and someone's like, I love those earrings. I'd be like, she come out to my car. 
<laughs> and see what's in there. But you guys, those are a few tips that I have on uh, travel to travel with jewelry. You know, make it keep it simple. It doesn't have to be complicated. There are some girls that are amazing at this, and they pull their jewelry out and they make fancy displays, and they have all kinds of cool containers. Me, I like Ziplocs. They're cheap. <laughs> I like Ziplocs. I love it. So be sure to try that. Um, some tips that I wrote down is have a variety of jewelry, you know, and then ask, what do you guys want to see? Should I bring purple stuff? Should I bring red stuff? Do you want hearts? Do you want rose gold? Um, but have a variety, have change and have a card reader, some way to take uh, debit or credit cards um, and carry it with you all the time. But ask businesses, ask if you know somebody's a manager of, uh, let's just say taco time, I don't know. Ask them, can I come in and, and see if anybody wants some jewelry? And then, then if they do go crazy for it, say, can I come back next week on Wednesday? Can I come back every two weeks? You know, if you set those schedules up, holy buckets, you could bounce around from business to business to business. And then you can post on social media, I will be at this location at this time, come by and see me. Usually you're there less than 15 30 minutes max. Like really you can get in and get out and lots of people can go shopping, but there's all kinds of places you can do. Hello everybody on. I, <laughs> it just says people are watching, but I have no comments. So I love y'all. I do have a quote for you today for my 212 degrees. And it says, and it is so fitting for today's topic, right? To get where, to get what we've never had, we must do what we've never done. To get what we've never had, we must do what we've never done. Meaning if you want to build more than a side hustle, more than a hobby, you've got to try different things. Whether it is carrying your jewelry around with you as the traveling jewelry person, lady, guy, whatever, jewelry queen, um, or whether it's on social media, whatever it is, you have to try it in order to do, to just to move up. So that's my tips for you guys today. Thank you for everybody that popped on. <laughs> Make sure you push on my nose to like or follow this page. Truly appreciate you and I will definitely respond to your messages. Bye guys. We'll see you all next week.